All right, guys, I'm really excited to talk about the budget planner. And this is from Jordan Page, just in case you haven't heard of this before. Um, I wanted to give you a really quick walkthrough, just in case you've been thinking about getting this planner, but you really wanted to look at what the inside looked like before you actually took the plunge. So first up, you have a vision board. And normally I have this on uh, something a little bit more stable, but I wanted to sort of um, come closer so you can see uh, some of the text so you could read it for yourself. So there's a vision board page and then there's a goals page where you can go ahead and write down your educational goals, your financial goals, professional goals, and so forth. And on the very next page, um, she breaks it down a little bit even further with short-term goals, uh, one-year goals, and five-year goals. I really love this page because it's, it's a good way to go back and really um, reassess whenever you're sort of losing yourself. You can remind yourself what it is that you're trying to do. And then, of course, there's these check-ins on the right side for each month. Really, really great page to have. Now you have your debt tracker. So this is uh, however many uh, different pieces of debt, different types of debt that you have. Every payment that you have, you track your balance. And then she has some words of encouragement on the bottom. And the best part about this is there are several pages for that type of tracking, followed up with some debt and credit information. This is key for me because I always lose account numbers um, you know, things like this. But now that you're writing this type of information, this is just a word of caution to just be really careful about where you're putting your planner and just to keep it somewhere safe. Savings goal tracker. I love this so much because I'm just about to talk about doing a save an extra payment of for your mortgage challenge. And this is, you can do this right in the planner. So uh, she has several pages for this as well. Basically, she has 36 slots, and then when you go ahead and make a, make a payment into one of your slots, you can go ahead and mark it in. So you can have your savings goal, you divide that goal by 36, and every time you make one of your payments, you just color in one of these circles until you get to your mark. Bank account tracker, again, I'm always losing my routing numbers. I'm always losing my account numbers. So she has a couple of pages dedicated for this. Really great idea. And then of course you can track your end of month balances. She has some information on the envelopes that you also receive with the planner. She has pages for you to have discussions with your significant other, who's gonna be responsible for what. There's two different sides. There's a side A and a side B, so you can divvy that up. I think that's really important, and she has a couple of pages for that conversation. Really great idea here as well. What are the most important things that are happening per month? What do you have to save for, and how much do you want to save per month? And think about how you need to divvy that out for your holidays. So. Um, you know, if you have three or four birthdays in the year, how do you want to track that? How do you want to save for that? What's your plan? And then she has a little notes page, uh, several, several of these, which I think is incredible. Let's move. She gives you quite a few of these. And I've looked into making planners and notebooks, and I will tell you the extra pages cost a little bit of money. And she gave it in for for us to use and i i know this that she it affected her bottom line and i appreciate that so here we go january this would be our first month so a month at a glance we have a little monthly calendar she gives you a spending freeze challenge at the beginning of every month and so she says pick a full week seven days sunday to saturday do not spend a penny and then she tells you figure out how much you saved per week and then a total amount saved at the end and some thought providing questions over here, thought starters, where you can talk to yourself and maybe you're looking for that coffee and then you can come back here and just read your answers and that will help you not spend that money. Now over here is where you do your tracking for the week. So this is for the month actually. So this will be how you track all your expenses and your spending and your, front, your paychecks. You put everything in here at the beginning of the week. At the beginning of the month, with your notes and then you start your weekly spending tracking so this is every month will look the same 
And then at the end of your week, you have a weekly weigh-in with your significant other, or you do it by yourself if you need to, and you talk about your wins, your budgets, your um, how you've personally felt it went. If you're doing it by yourself or if you're doing it with your significant other, you can talk to each other about how you feel this particular week went upcoming expenses that you need to worry about and ways to improve and some motivations with a notes page that's week one and then of course week two just repeats with the weekly weigh-in again week three weekly weigh-in week four weekly weigh-in and I think every uh, month she gives you five. So you go through the whole entire uh, planner, budgeter, until you get to the very end. And I just wanna show you at the end of the last 12 months, there are still a handful of notes pages that are blank for you to enjoy. So overall, I'm really excited about getting started with this planner. As you can see, it's really clean, it's really simple, and it's, it's really a great way for you to just get control of your finances with a wonderful beginning um, area for you to do extra stuff like your savings goals and your debt tracker. I just, I actually had done quite a bit of research when it comes to budget planners and I really like this one the best. So I wanted to just shoot this really quick video so you can take a look, make your own decisions and see if this is the right planner for you.